was head of Marine and uh, at Humber for ABP, which is representing Simon Bird today. Simon Bird is otherwise occupied um, in London. So it's a pleasure to have you here, Paul, and uh, we really appreciate you taking the time to come along and, and see the activities that we've been creating for this museum. Thank you. Well, as, as, uh, as you said, I'm, uh, Simon sent his apologies and he would have very much liked to have been here himself to, uh, to join everybody today. Um, ABP, you know, we are a, a huge part of the local community and so it's great that we've been able to make this donation to support the, the work that's gone on on the first floor. I just got a sneak preview of that, but um, I'm very much looking forward to having a, a, a more detailed look um, a little bit later on and uh, to see what the exhibits are. But um, fantastic to be here on the opening day. We're really pleased and hope that everybody gets to enjoy it for many years to come. Thank you for having me. Thank you. I think just to add into that, I'd just like to explain just a little bit about this as well. As we all know, I mean, ABP have been great sponsors and supporters of the local community. And uh, with Immigrant Museum being as it is, and it's great to have them on as our main partner in the sponsorship side of it. And uh, it was due to, to the docks visits that ABP were putting on. They were putting on weekends where all the residents could go along to the docks and have a ride around the docks and do that. And uh, it got to the stage where ABP said, well, we ought to be doing something a bit more forward thinking and thinking about the technology that's re required for it. And ABP said, well, we'll start you off with, you know, just a minimum £10,000. It's not much, is it? <laughs> well, anyway, no, thank you very much for £10,000. And it did go a long way. And when you do have a visit upstairs to see this rock docks room, you'll see the technology that's involved in there. Real-time information that's coming through from not just ships, but planes, trains, everything so it's going to be fantastic to have a look at it and this is the way forward now and to try and educate the children as well so we've got the facilities to make it available for all the school children to come along and see what uh, is available for them and so i'm very, very pleased and i can't thank you enough for paul for all you've yeah, done and easy pictures thank you very much yeah. indeed. Everybody you know, knows about being before who's had a look around this side of the, the museum, this part of it, relating to just moving. We've got the new display just behind Jane there, talking about, um, which relates to the docks actually, but the ABP in Tintown. If it hadn't been for Tintown, the docks would never have started. And that's where we housed all the, uh, the workers that actually created and built the docks. But this is another thing that we're doing to try and expand our vision for what's been happening with the, the docks itself. But have a look round here, and I'm sure that John Tri yeah, John Trivet is yeah. there, as I say, has given Paul a quick preview up there, but please, I think, obviously, it's a small room up there, really. I'd like, obviously, if you can just, you know, keep it to minimum and take a bit of a time to go and have a look round. I don't know whether you can get up there or not, Jane, can you? Oh, I can, yes. Oh. Yeah, please, yeah. <laughs> but no, please, have a look round, and then make your way upstairs and have a look with, uh, with John. Okay? Yeah. Really. Thanks very much. Good up. Yes. Yeah, it's been interesting. Ten years in the thinking about yeah. it. Yeah, I did. That's okay. So, the stories... And what was here before? <laughs> open space. Oh, right. I came in here 12 years ago, and we've been told to move the museum from Margaret Street. Yeah. And the only space we had available was the back of the stage. Here. Right. Okay. This floor did... So, when we came in, did we, we looked it? up and saw 16 foot of air. Yes. So, a big black hole. And the footage, the square footage for the museum, was just a little area near the desk yeah. downstairs. No way everything would have to gone into store. But I came in and Dave Jackson was the, the boss, I think, of the council in those days, and uh, looked at the ceiling and said, we could put a mezzanine floor in. Yeah. Yeah. And, well, my family paid for it. Yes. In fact, when I sold any studios in Channel 7 to the college, the money from that enabled us to build oh, this. Well, then, yeah. Lovely. Yeah. To do what you see here. Um, before you know, the ABP investment, which is fantastic, enabled us to go further. So, this floor then, it, we, 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 we've done this because we want to tell two or three stories. One is the importance of the railways. Yeah. Most of our local historians don't really recognise the importance of that's beginning to change. But in the past most it's a little footnote in history. Okay? That's the first thing. The second thing is how amazing Immingham would have been in nineteen twelve. Yes. It was so futuristic. Okay, so the story starts there when people can walk down and you can see from thatch cottages, people on the marsh just tending their cattle, but they've done it for a thousand years, only about 150 people living in St. Andrew's Church. 
And then this comes. And the story we tell, first of all, is why here, deep water, the coal going yeah, out. So. Always, yeah. yeah, okay. The Navy wanted it. This is a story most people don't, weren't aware of. 1903, there was a big battle between the coal interests, nationally vital, and the Navy. The Navy was based in Port, you know, Portsmouth, of course, you know, and that was, um, in my language, forgive me, when it was this. And what we try to do here is to tell quite an unusual story. First of all, this was so futuristic. You'll hear the phrase futuristic, uh, back to the future, you'll hear the phrase, Immingham was the first in the world, many times in the next two minutes. Right, here, it was just Marsh. The railway company, sent the boss who's on the back of the door there, Sir Sam Fay, to America. The Americans saw this, used this system. My finger now. This is modern technology. Thank you very much for all the investments and I have to use my finger. On to the high level line. The wagons come from the top here. Take the brakes off and let them roll back down a carefully constructed gradient to the coal hoist. Yep. Okay? And then lift the wagon up, tip it, and let the wagon work roll back down underneath the high level line and back. Yep. So I do this to our visitors and say, watch my hand. And I say, well, that's all right. And I say, what do we call that? Energy efficient. Yep. So you see what we're doing using modern phrases. Here, we, we, there were there only 150 people in there, yeah? 75 males, half a big children. Yeah. Yeah. We built off the dock, we needed 2,500, this is a same kind of story. And then I used modern words. These were migrants. Mm. So this is worse than that. Some of them came from Scotland. Mm. Oh, that's so true. And, even, went, <laughs> and even, even worse than that, some of them stayed here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he had been silly, but you get the idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Using contemporary language, okay, there it is. And we haven't finished it yet because I'm here. We're going to be putting the whole of the industries. Yes. So we do railways, docks, and industries. Yeah. So we can show that. There's a this rather unusual. Yeah. Well, that's the old. It's a thing on the cloud there. And everything's in the correct position. Yeah, on yeah. And that actually works. We've actually got footage, wonderful film of the tram, and that will be shown here. Yeah. And that's the actual sign, actual tickets. You would yeah. 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 And so that's it. Right. Here, Back to the Future, 1969, your yeah. predecessors wanted to show the future of Birmingham. And so they had this wonderful it's model done. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we were having trouble with the um, so, now this is all men play with trains, of course. This is all men playing with trains. But it's the, the important stories we tell here, isn't it? Yes. No, I mean, I'm going to cut you down to the we said, oh, no, we've got a chance to and that is the uh, yeah. freight yard. Staggering. That was the third biggest freight yard in the That's world. Huge, isn't it? It is, it is and absolutely it staggering. Is it? it is staggering. It was the first of its time, the third biggest in the world. And, and that's what they, and what was that, what did we call that? A freight yard. But which, it's it's oh, but which it's all, all for coal. Yeah, sorry, yeah, but what do they, what's the, is it called, um, obviously there's the, um, did it have a name? The it, yes, there were reception sidings yeah. and departure sidings. Yeah, um, but sorry, was it called the Immingham Freight Yard? Oh, or, yes, yes, um, that would be, that'll be uh, 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 Stalin Rose Freight Yard. Immingham, that would be Immingham, Immingham Freight Yard. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. And that's part of the Immingham, Immingham West, there was also Immingham West. Yeah. Right, yeah. Got it, yeah. But it was the biggest, uh, third biggest in the world, and certainly the biggest in Europe. Mm. The other two in the uh, Midwest, yeah. Chicago. Yeah. And washed, yeah. unbelievably. So, yes, so we, can, we so want to tell that story. So, can, uh, so we decided to call this model. And yeah. we couldn't build all those sides, and we did half a living. So, being a museum, we cheated. <laughs> <laughs> you do that, you see. If you come here, and lean over and look back, 
that goes on there. So what do we do? We model the bit in the rectangle there. Yep. Okay. Yep. And this is an accurate everything here at any moment. Yep. Okay. And it all it's all digitally controlled and some of the engines have got sound. I think you probably hear something anyway. Some of them have got sound. Okay, so that's that. So we do this. Now this is how we get a more important story. We want to tell people, particularly young people, teach and so on, that image is about the dynamic and future nature of image today and its future. So with railway terms, we call this model of Barnaby. Right. This is half that size, because yeah. yeah, this is a mile. Uh, two seconds ago, 600 people paid hundreds of pounds to come on the train to go to the highway. Right. <laughs> yeah. And on the freight line, filling in them. Yep. And there's a, uh, Christian got a wonderful video of, of them all on, on the platform there. So, we do the past. Yep. Now we do the present. This has just come from China. Yeah, so These are wonderful. This is the biomass tray. And no, no, thanks very much. Some biomass. No, oh, it's not nuts. quite the right scale then. We've got to do a bit of whittling down to get them to the right so, size. So we show the, the present. And everything here, including the new, hopefully, container trains and so on, yeah, yeah. coal, iron ore, that's what we show here. Now, what's really unusual are these screens. This we don't think has ever been done before. On that screen there is real time track. Yeah. So 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 this the is the beginning the of what the AP allows us to do. No, so you are. So there is the actual track diagram, this millisecond, for here. See Barnaby? Yep. yep. Would have to be dead quiet. Oh, the, the, the Barton and the Humber train, 2F92, is yeah. just going to see later on. Four minutes in the afternoon and actually run by. The only thing that's ever been done before, and there's the guy And on this screen here, So what we're trying to do, yeah, and we'll move about a little bit further yeah, yeah. now, because we're not quite sure. Okay, but I'm sure I've got a force to put. We want to show what's happening from the So for example, the yellow, I can see that it's the outer gold. It's going there. Right. 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 Yeah. Wind turbines, uh, uh, yeah. maybe the bio aviation yeah. field. Yeah. You with me? Yeah. Uh, and different yeah. colours, yeah. 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 red for more explosive yeah. things. Should we say? Yeah. 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 Or just yeah. trialling this, yeah. and when we, when they're happy with it, yeah. when it's yeah. 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 we'll then draw yeah. yeah. it all be lit up, and this will be a panel for children of all ages to see what's happening. We got anything running, man? We did have a second ago. Oh, right. <laughs> until, until you stopped, until you walked in. I wonder if that was happening, actually. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
This is not Emmingham at the moment, it's just showing, but we just footage that Emma's and Nick have got for us, who are having transferred to USB and so on. Mm -hmm. no, but it's shipping footage. What we'd love to be able to do, if I can ask, yeah. if I can leave a thought with you, yes, yeah. is our camera person, where's he gone? There he is. <laughs> and this camera was made possible with your grant. Right. It's a 4K camera. Yeah, it yeah. is wonderful. And Christian is our videographer and social media boss, as it were, and he would love to be able to come to the port, into the control room, yes. yeah. and watch yeah. the footage. You see, I'm sure you do that. they've got it from Rotterdam, everywhere. Is yeah. it so I think the VCS is where we need to is get to get uh, to have a look at how they do it.